Welcome back to Mega Man 10! It's time to take on the Wily Castle! Now, I've been pretty down on Mega Man 10 so far. However, this Wily Castle, if only for the first stage alone, might be one of my favorite Wily Castles in the series. Which, considering it's this game and a Wily Castle, you would think that wouldn't be the case, but nope. It's a pretty cool looking castle, too, so. <laughs> we start out with a path that really wants a hug. And so, uh, we drop down, and we got this ominous song. You know, very downplayed. It's raining, that's pretty cool. Uh, terrible time to choose to, uh, not give Mega Man a helmet. Uh, sorry about that, Mega Man, but you've gotta save your sister, and it'll be cooler if you do so without a helmet. And then we're already to a boss room, and we have to fight the Weapons Archive! So the Weapons Archive is a representation of one boss from each of the main Mega Man games that came before this. So, we've got Mega Man's 1 through 3 with Elec Man, Wood Man, and we'll see in a moment, Gemini Man. All of these bosses are weak to Wheel Cutter. Wood Man is also weak to Triple Blade, but let's just keep consistent for this one. And when you finish this boss off, you get the best song in the game, Abandoned Memory. Yeah, so as far as tone setters go, uh, yeah, this is the best one. L I, uh, look, I know I said all of Mega Man 9's uh, Wily Castle stage songs were very good, and they are. I think Overall Night is better consistently with its songs, but Abandoned Memory is just phenomenal. What a good song. <laughs> I love this one so much. Uh, it's just such a good way to start off the Wily Castle. The Weapons Archive is also pretty cool. I feel it's actually a pretty good way to, uh, get some good nostalgia in, while also providing a very challenging boss. Uh, Weapons Archive is actually really hard. <laughs> uh, I did actually get bodied by this when I was younger, and is the reason I never actually beat Mega Man 10 when I was, uh, younger and when it came out, because, yeah, no, Weapons Archive kicked my ass. Anyway, yeah, Ring Man is weak to Solar, Bla Solar Blaze, Napalm Man, Rebound Striker, and Flame Man is weak to Water Shield. I'm sorry, Napalm Man, but you are weak to a Soccer Ball. Sucks for you. Also, here's Blade's weapon. Uh, so much like Punk, uh, his weapon is also broken. <laughs> it's not- it, it doesn't fly in an arc. It just travels until it hits something and then explodes. And also, it's another efficient weapon. <laughs> I think Punk's is slightly better, but like- this is still more efficient than just about any other weapon in the game. It takes so little energy. And again, as long as you're on this file, or the, this account, uh, as long as you've beaten Belade's DLC, you just have this weapon on Mega Man forever. You can start the game with this! <laughs> this is the one game in the series where you don't have to use the Mega Buster if you've done the DLC. You can just blaze through the game with this weapon, and it's pretty good. It, it's very good. Anyway, though, uh, the stage itself is also fun. Uh, I think this is a pretty good rendition of uh, Wily Castle. Uh, you know, it's your typical uh, recycling of elements from the rest of the game. Uh, you know, various platforming challenges and enemies. Uh, and, you know, they're all good. Well, I'm not a big fan of these rolly guys. I don't hate them so much It's that it's like the uh, damper on the stage, but, you know, I don't like them. The mice, on the other hand, yeah, no, they, they rule. But yeah, no, it's just a solid stage, too. Like, at most, I guess I could say I'm not a, I'm not big on the tile set, but when am I a big fan of the lab tile sets? I feel like that's the thing I say every time we get to a Wily Castle, just, I don't know about this tile set. Apparently, I'm just the nature gal. Technology? Ugh, that's what I say. 
Alright, so the final weapon archive, we got Slash Man, who is weak to Chill Spike and Commando Bomb. Uh, Frost Man is also weak to Commando Bomb. And the last one from Mega Man 9 is Tornado Man, who is weak to Thunderwool. Oh, that's embarrassing. So yeah, Chill Spike, of course, hurts more if you can trick Slash Man into jumping into it, which is difficult, but once you can do that, uh, it'll hurt a lot. And yeah, as you can see, Thunderwool just absolutely obliterates Tornado Man. He's got nothing. So anyway, this is the cutscene you get if you play as bass. Uh, it does not occur until this stage, <laughs> and he caught this dang robo ends it too. Oh darn. Well, thankfully, it's not a problem, because Treble's just gonna come in and give Bass the medicine, and there we go. Now Bass is fine. <laughs> we gotta teach that old cook a lesson. Or old cook. I prefer to think Bass just called him an old cook. It's funnier that way, I'm sorry. So anyway, that was Wily Stage 1, uh, my favorite Wily Stage of all time. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, move on to Wily Stage 2, which is... well, we'll see. <laughs> so first off, uh, this song is Against the Pressure, which is also a good song. Uh, but again, I think Mega Man 9 has the stronger stage themes overall. And... Yeah, th this one's good, but also, it's not Abandoned Memory, so I don't care. <laughs> to be fair, I, I guess they don't want to overplay Abandoned Memory. It would suck if that song became a bit blasé, so... It's good they didn't use it for the whole thing. This is also a pretty good song, though. It's very upbeat. I like it. Though, I don't know. I guess it does sound like it could just be, uh, any other w Mega Man games, uh, Wily Castle theme, though. Uh, I could not immediately recognize it from Mega Man 10, whereas Mega Man 9, yeah, no, I can pretty easily recognize all of the, uh, Wily Castle themes easily. That could just be a case of exposure, to be fair, but, yeah, I just, just kind of... I, I really like that one, okay? Anyway, though, now we're on the, uh, mini-boss repeat. I never don't chump the phoenixes, but also I don't care for them, so... That's why I do that. Well, I will say, though, um, this isn't a bad Wily Castle. I'm gonna say, overall, Wily Castle, uh, not annoying. Uh, the, the first stage is its strongest. It is the strongest showing. Uh, none of the rest are quite as good, but that's understandable, because, god, the, the build-up in Stage 1 is just phenomenal. Also, yeah, there's the, uh, quick kill for that mini-boss that I think I mentioned before, uh, actually showing it off now. If you Commando Bomb at the right position at the right time, yeah, no, you'll just kill him, which is good, because I hate that mini-boss. <laughs> I don't like the Phoenixes, but I HATE that mini-boss. The light bulb's a real jerk. As is this section, this is just a clusterfuck. It's not a bad one, but... Mm. <laughs> I, I just look at it and I want to skip it, which I can. You can absolutely skip it, so... Points to it for that. Uh, what was I talking about before? I forget. <laughs> oh yeah, build-up of stage one is just absolutely amazing. That is easily the best lead-up, which, uh, let's see, what other ones are memorable? I think Mega Man 4. I think that's, like, my go-to other favorite in the series is Mega Man 4 with, you know, just the snow field and all that. I, I just think that's a really cool-looking set piece. But this one had the very good music, uh, and again, like, it actually leads to something. It's not just, here's the outside of Wily's castle, uh, and then the castle happens. No, it, it actually leads into itself very well, just tonally speaking. Very much admire it for that. Alright, so... Uh, oh <laughs> Don't you love it when I take that town? You know that means I'll really like the next boss. So this boss is named Crab Puncher, and I hate it. I hate the boss they named Crab Puncher. This boss sucks, though. 
He's weak to Thunderwall, and it sucks so bad to hit him with it. This boss took me for fucking ever, mainly because of this attack, where he drools at you. Best option is to Thunderwall so you can block the bubbles, otherwise they are just a pain to actually dodge. But don't fire too early, or too late, or the Thunderwall won't help you, make sure it's in the right position, or it won't help you, platform correctly, or you can't Thunderwall correctly. This boss sucks, and I hate it. <laughs> I hate that they made me dislike a boss named Crab Puncher. Anyway, here's Proto Man's cutscene that happens uh, after stage one. Proto Man apparently travels with Mega Man, but he also got ill. Oh no, please, Proto Man, I don't want to play as Mega Man more. I mean, you know his heart's not in it. He put his helmet back on. The nerd. Look at him caring more about safety. Oh, but as it turns out, that much like Goku, uh, Mega Man has saved his medicine instead of taking it. I, I guess Roll accidentally slipped him two capsules. Uh, so now Mega Man's giving Proto Man the other one. So now Proto Man's fine. That's another cutscene that just does not have the weight of Mega Man's version, where Roll offers up uh, her medicine uh, for his sake, which in itself, the wind kind of gets taken out of your sails when you realize, oh wait, that's not really a huge deal. It's not the biggest deal that Roll gave up her medicine. Again, that's like an hour of discomfort, but nothing too major. I mean, I guess it's preferable to them just killing Roll off for no reason. I I'm glad they didn't just murder Roll with the flu. That would have sucked. Anyway, though, here's Dr. Wily Stage 3. Uh, this song is No Turning Back. But I don't know, I feel like we turned back on the good music. This one's actually not bad either. This is another good song, it's just... I guess the case is just like... Mega Man 9 was absolutely my style of music, and 10, not as much so. I don't know, I just really like the energy of 9's Wily Castle themes, though. This one's kind of somber in a way, which is weird after that introduction. <laughs> Abandoned memory gets you pumped, and against the pressure also does, and then no turning back is like, well, maybe you should take a moment to contemplate life. Hey. Hey. You ever think about the tragedy of existence? Do you ever think about how small you are in this world? Well, you should. It's Dr. Wily Stage 3. You're being pursued by a shrimp. This is time for very serious contemplation. Actually, no, that, that bit of the song right there is really cool. <laughs> there... I guess my problem is the part that I really like about this song is like two seconds long, but man, that, that little bit of the music is very cool. Uh, anyway, though, yeah, Dr. Wily Stage 3, um... I feel like this one has all the obstacles I hate, so it might be my least favorite stage in Dr. Wily Castle. Still not the worst Wily Castle in existence, and it's also not King's Castle Fuck You, uh, so I can't hate it completely, but yeah, I don't like the elevator segments, uh, and I don't like the, the seesaw platforms. I don't care if they're underwater, I still don't like them. So do not like these matools. This is the stage where matools are annoying. You, I, I'm pretty sure the ones underwater were the slippery bastards, and these are just flying annoying guys. Okay, yeah, no, those are those are definitely the uh, slippery guys. I knew it because they were crawling, and that's just what they do. They crawl like the worms they are. <laughs> like the worms they are. <laughs> I'm an anime villain when it comes to those specific matools, I'm sorry. I must see them destroyed. Alright, so we're almost at the boss. I don't feel like wasting any more commando bombs, so let's just take an extra couple seconds to take the long way around and kill this man. There we go. So, the next boss isn't Crab Puncher, which means its name isn't as good, but it's not as bad. It's Block Devil. Block Devil's annoying, but you know what? As far as Devil Bosses go, I guess it's less tedious. I mean, it's still the same old deal, but like... 
you, you can see the blocks in the walls, I guess, so you know sort of what they do. I think this is just like a, an easier kind of thing to memorize for me, uh, if they're part of the scenery rather than just part of a boss. It's easier for me to remember when and where the, the uh, blocks spawn from. Anyway, yeah, I one-rounded that, which is good because devils are always the worst, so I want them dead quickly. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Next time we finish Wily Castle. See you then.